among the clubs. So at each community, each part of your country, you can set up a club. We have clubs in Port of Spain, we have in Newton, we have in Chaguanas, we have in St. Augustine, we have in Tobago, clubs of Seroptimus. And what do we do in Seroptimus? We focus on the advancement of women and girls worldwide. There are four federations in the clubs, and the club in the Americas, in Europe, in Great Britain and Ireland. Great Britain and Ireland and the South Pacific. Trinidad has six clubs in the Sikhbi. What I wanted to ask were well, not the students here. We have four federations. Under which federation do you think that the Trinidad club belongs? In the Americas, in Europe, in Great Britain and Ireland, or Southwest Pacific? Who has an idea? We are in the Caribbean, and you have four federations. Where do you think? You can think about it. At the end of the presentation, you can win a prize if you if you guess where we belong. Okay. The next slide, please. So now the question is why women and girls and boys. We have one staff member in the office who's a guy, and he said, "Am I welcome?" So I told them now it's a girls thing. So why women and girls? Well, and, uh, the organizations have done a lot of research and they have seen that and, uh, there are not enough women and girls in the ICT center. Especially not at the top level. They may be doing things. Here you have a number of top level positions, but they are not CEOs of companies, secretary generals of the organizations, ITU, etc. That is not enough. And, and uh, the research has also shown that and, uh, girls are involved in sectors uh, where they, and, uh, that when girls are involved in the sectors or women, they bring a lot of value to the sector. And uh, another fact of the research is that while there are a lot of opportunities, women and girls in the sector lack the skills. Because we don't train, we don't, and, uh, there are numbers here, but we don't do it enough. Next slide, please. And uh, what has happened now, the IDU has therefore started an initiative to promote the development of women and girls in ITV and encourage you girls to seek positions and careers in the field. They have even uh, adopted a policy that if a number of guys and women apply for certain jobs, they have to look the people of HR have to look carefully at the application of the woman and look how they can accommodate to facilitate something like affirmative action with the USS, but to make it possible for more women to enter the field. And a very important one is that the public and the private sector organization, they agree, they did some research, and they are 100% certain that increasing women at the top of organization, increasing the number of women at the top of the organization, is not only good for us, but it's also good for business. They make more money if they have women there. Because it's important to have a diverse group of people taking decisions that only men take a decision. So you will make money and the organization will make it. They're not only doing it for us, but they have seen that if you have more women involved in decision-making position in ICT, especially the company flourish better, it develops better. And, and uh, yes, next please. Okay, what is happening locally here? You, you all know about the laptop for school project of this government. And now what is also happening, government around the region locally start with the ICT strategy to know how they can use ICT to help develop their, and, uh, their countries regionally and uh, look nationally. So they are setting up a strategy to incorporate and, uh, uh, the whole economy in developing, us, in developing the country. What is also happening is that the uh, ICT is now part of secondary school curriculum and also primary school or some primary school. 
and there are several many other initiatives that are being undertaken by stakeholders nationally. You will hear about some of them in a minute. Next please. What is happening regionally? You all know about the CARICOM has set up an ICT steering committee to work on a regional strategy. Because after you have your uh, national, it has to fit in what the regional one, region wants to do and eventually the world. And the countries and the region are also working on their strategies all over the Caribbean. The next group. What is happening internationally? But the ITU, ITU is the International Telecommunication Union, and it is a uh, UN agency in charge of telecoms of part of ICT, which is the International Telecommunication Union. And what they have established of Girls in ICT Day, and today is Girls in ICT Day. Every third Thursday in the month is Girls in ICT Day. So we have something to celebrate today. Congratulations. And what the ITU has also done, this year, they have decided to select as the team of World Telecommunication Information and Society Day, Women and Girls in ICT. So there are two things going on. Today is ICT, Women and Girls ICT Day, Girls in ICT Day, and the team for this year, Information Society Day, is Women and Girls. And Canto is doing an essay competition. Most of you know about the essay competition already. The deadline is the 4th of May, and there are attractive prizes to be won. And win a ticket for you and a parent to the United States to attend the conference. 1,000 US dollars in spending money, a computer, and a couple of other prizes. We give prizes to the first, second, third, and fourth, fourth prize winner. So please see your teacher or talk to us. I think you should have a flyer in your book about the essay competition. What is also happening is that UN Millennium Development Goal number three, promote gender equality and empowerment of women. What I was telling you about that idea, look carefully at application for women to make sure that they can be hired. Next, please. That's internationally. Uh, next. And how you can get involved? Well, you're already involved in this interactive workshop. That's the first one. The second one is take part in the essay competition. You have started writing because I sent the information here. Finish it by the 3rd or 4th of May. Is it the 3rd or 4th? It's the 3rd of May and send it in the instructions or in your team and win one of the prizes. And another thing is that the winner of this competition will also take part in a breakfast, a girls and ICT breakfast in the United States and uh, organized by Canto during our annual conference. What you must do is visit a site called girlsinict.org. There's also another site, Women in ICT, Bitnet, Women in ICT. So a women's site and a girl's site. You can do both of them. Thank you. Next verse. Okay. That was it for my presentation. I focus more on the impact things that are happening with an uh, ICT and development. I could be rich at this an, uh, email address and I want you definitely to visit canto.org where you also find information on the essay competition and soloptimus-tt.org. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Rahimi. I'm so proud. This is the first day I've managed to pronounce her name correctly. So, as we listened to Rahini this morning, I don't know about you, but I felt as if good news had arrived. You all felt like that? And what was the good news that came? What's the good news you got? Everybody said yes. What's the good news you got? Anybody? Let's have about something. Uh huh. Thank you.
of women who are involved in the ICT sector. The first one we have coming in is Ms. Cheryl Johnson. And Cheryl Johnson, who I've known for some time, I must add, is the Manager of Communications, Public Relations, and Consumer Affairs at the Telecommunications Authority of Trinidad and Tobago. She has held this position for the last seven and a half years. Would that be since its inception, Cheryl? Shortly after the inception of the Telecommunications Authority. So if there's anybody who is in a position to talk about what's happening in here, in, in our industry here, it's Cheryl. She's previously worked as the Communications Specialist in the Ministry of Science and Technology and Tertiary Education. She was the Press and Public Relations Officer in the Information Division. And on a personal level, Cheryl is married and the mother of three children. So Cheryl is going to share with us this morning her journey within the ICT sector. Thank you, Cheryl. And not just the local ICT sector, the global ICT sector. All right, because they, you know, they say the sky is the limit. Um, I would say the global environment is the limit. Um, so I, first of all, I want to mention that the Telecom Authority of Tobago recognized Girls' ICT Day by hosting uh, Bring Your Daughters to World event on April 12th. And we have the newspapers today and advertisement which gives you an idea as to what took place. So when you get home, look for the Express, look for the Guardian, look for the Newsday, and you will see what we had done for girls in ICT. We had it before because we knew that today would have been a school day. And some of the small children we invited um, would have been in school. And therefore we decided to put it during the Easter holidays. So that's that's there. Okay. Um, as as we mentioned, my name is Cheryl Johnson. Um, I'm the manager of communications, public relations, and consumer affairs at the Telecommunications Authority of Trinidad Tobago. I'm going to pose a question to you now. That's the big name we normally use. That, that's our full name. Do you know um, what we are? I mean, there's a name that we that, that is used for us in the press. I mean, it's 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 um, how we are commonly known. Any of you know how we are more commonly known? The long name is Telecommunications Authority of Trinidad and Tobago. Anyone in the audience, students, have an idea? 